Hello everyone. Thought I would show you my alternate power setup. Here is one of my first wind generators. This is a uh, DC permanent magnet motor. It's home built. It's actually built on the base of a swivel chair. Okay, store bought blades. It uh, probably gives me about 150, 200 watts when it's really spinning. And right beside it, standing at 30 feet, is the new 500 watt PMA from Jeff at Missouri Wind and Solar. He's been a tremendous help in helping me get set up and determine what I need for low wind. As you can see, no wind today. But uh, that's his new nine blade hub. And it does pick up in relatively low wind and it spins fast. You can see my other video. Over here we've got the uh, 45 watt uh, solar kits from Harbor Freight. I've got six of them. And I think that's a total of like 270 watts, right? Uh, could be something like that. Anyway, these are the primary feed into my battery banks, which I'll show okay, you. Okay, here we are inside. This is my primary battery bank. These are uh, AGM batteries, 140 amp hours each, uh, which gives me, what, 560 amp hours, something like that. Uh, I call this the primary bank. This is what we run off of. I have the solar and the 500 watt wind turbine feeding these. Uh, the small wind turbine actually feeds the two small uh, lead acid deep cell batteries beside it. Those are like 115 amp hours each for 230 amp hours. Those are the backups. So when the large batteries run out or get low, we can switch over and use the small ones. I've also got this large 1400 cranking amp battery here that I run all my outside lights on. Okay, These are the inverters that we're feeding. So I've got the input from the solar coming through just this cheap 30 amp uh, solar charger picked up from Fry's. Okay, and then uh, the wind power, the 500 amp uh, wind generator is coming in here. I've got the uh, amp meter mounted on a very simple box coming through the shunt which then goes to the batteries okay and this is the primary inverter uh, this is the the one the wife knows about she comes out and flips this switch when the power goes out or she wants to use alternate power all she has to do is turn this inverter on and go over to the poor man transfer switch which I'll show you later and she's in business. Here we're monitoring the power on the, uh, the battery banks on the two anyway. These are the uh, controllers that come with that Harbor Freight 45 watt panel kit. Uh, I don't know what they're really good for other than plugging the 12 volt lights into and monitoring voltage. They're good for that. So these are really just voltage monitors. That's all they're doing. And then the uh, second inverter is hooked up to the uh, secondary bank. Now I've got this little brick inverter here, uh, which is running the outside lights, all the floodlights and, uh, around the garage. Okay, so there you go. That's my alternate power setup. Uh, not much to it. I've got a battery charger here so that we can use line power to top everything off if we don't have much sun or any wind. Okay, here we are at my poor man's transfer switch. Uh, this is my breaker box to the entire home. Okay. And what I've done is I've pulled off two of the breakers to start with, uh, what I call circuit three and circuit six based on the breakers. Uh, these are the breakers that control one entire room in my house, basically the living area has a window AC, the refrigerator, the lights, the fan, microwave, stuff like that. So I pulled those two circuits off and I brought them over to my poor man's transfer switch. Uh, the plugs that are white represent the line voltage coming off the breakers in the box. 
So under normal circumstances, that's where these circuits would be plugged into. And instead of a switch, I've just basically uh, attached a plug. The black outlets are my alternate power, which come over from the inverters and my battery bank. Uh, so to transfer, all I have to do is pull the plug, plug it into the alternate power plug, and now I'm on backup power. So the way it's set up is uh, in the event of a power outage, I've got a, a light position here so that the wife can come out and uh, flip the switch on the inverter. This light comes on, lights this area, and she can come out and just simply move the two, two plugs. It's just that easy. That way she has power to the main living area and she can continue to play on her computer. And everybody's happy. That's my poor man's transfer switch.